I've been fascinated with the sea ever since I was a child. I grew up in a very urban area, so I didn't have much nature, but the only thing I had was the seaside. So I spent my childhood running around the beach, catching crabs and observing all manner of shore life and coastal species. I always enjoy the sea and going uh, out with my family, you know, during the summer and even in winter times. Uh, it, it always fascinated me. The fishing regulations governing our waters might be crafted in distant offices, but the knowledge they rely on starts here, out at sea, with scientific observers. These men and women are the backbone of the EU fisheries data collection. But who are these scientists? How do they work? And how do they contribute to preserving our marine ecosystem? Rainy morning on Malta. On board the fishing boat, three guests: Kelly, Luca, and Frank. Они работают в компании Aquatic Resources Malta, или ARM. Это исследовательское подразделение Государственного департамента рыболовства и аквакультуры выполняет важнейшую миссию, передает политикам точные данные о состоянии воды. And together we undertake all of the data collection pertaining to the EU obligations. Today we're on an onboard observation, which is one of our routine uh, observation efforts, where we get the opportunity to go out on board with fishermen and take measurements of what they catch, both fish that they intend to land and by catching discards. It's the best part of the job because you basically get to see and work with the fishers themselves and you get to see the full uh, fishing industry. Пока экипаж доставляет улов на берег, ученые фиксируют и анализируют биологические данные. This information is very valuable to policy makers and decision makers because we can quantify how much it costs from an ecological standpoint to catch commercially important species because for every commercial species you catch you end up also catching species that are unrelated and that would otherwise not have been targeted by fisheries эти данные сведенные вместе на европейском уровне служат ориентиром для политиков устанавливающих правила в отношении рыбных ресурсов они также основа для укрепления социально-экономической составляющей отрасли. I really believe in the need of balancing the environmental, the social and the economic pillars when it comes to projecting policies for the sector. Хотя промысловый сектор составляет всего 1% ВВП Мальты, и в нем занято около тысячи рыбаков, по мнению этой ученой, а ныне политика, рыболовство здесь глубоко увязано с самобытностью нации. И наука убеждена, эксперт может сыграть решающую роль в сохранении этого культурного наследия. I believe that science informs our decision making, so you need data to be able to predict the future. There has been quite a good representative amount of of scientists boarding different vessels, both trawlers and also um, travel netters and longliners, which uh, makes uh, data collection quite representative. Наблюдение на борту — лишь один из методов, которые используют ученые для работы. В 4 утра колокол возвещает о начале рыбного аукциона. Покупатели соревнуются за лучший улов. Совсем скоро он окажется на тарелках по всему острову. Фрэнк, однако, здесь по другой причине. As part of the data collection multi-annual plan, we have a budget from where we can buy the fish. Then um, fish bought from here, we are going to process them um, at our laboratories. There are biometric samples, mainly length, weight, sex and maturity. Рыба меч прибывает в офис Aquatic Resources примерно в то же время, что и коллеги Фрэнка. Можно приступать к работе. Тушки препарируют для изучения биологических параметров. Это первый шаг в комплексном процессе сбора данных, которые в конечном итоге поступят в Европейскую комиссию. 
our fish stocks are shared with our neighboring countries. So it is very important that our data sets between member states are shared and then aggregated together according to the data calls that we receive from the European Commission and other fora which work with the European Commission. Now, this data then uh, from these data calls uh, is used for modeling the stocks, uh, that is the fish stocks that we have around the Maltese Islands. These are then aggregated at the regional level and then we can determine the management measures at the policy level from the collected data sets. Юрген имеет докторскую степень в статистике и математике. Он руководит сбором данных и другими проектами, которые реализуют 35 ученых. Однако его интерес к рыбе обусловлен и личными мотивами. In the fishery sector, we have uh, predominantly small-scale fishers, meaning that uh, these are still traditional fishers uh, and uh, they are still obviously providing our food. So for me, that is something crucial for a country because if you have someone, a family, who is providing food for the country, that is quite important. Как и во многих других местах Средиземноморья, мальтийские рыбаки сталкиваются с рядом проблем. Это изменение климата, загрязнение окружающей среды, истощение запасов и конкуренция. And having an industry in Malta where over 90% of our fishers are of a small scale nature, I think that we, we need to have more um, European fora that actually cater for the small scale fishing industry. Это мнение разделяют ученые на борту рыболовецких судов, которые помогают выстроить доверие между рыбаками и политиками. It is very important that we have a good working relationship with fishermen. And at the end of the day, their interests are our own interests. If the sea isn't doing well, we want to know. Because if we can figure out and identify just where things seem to be struggling, we can raise this with policy makers and decision makers so that they are more equipped to take proper course of action in order to try and protect the sea and the interests of the fishermen. Пока здоровье океанов под угрозой, работа ученых, Фрэнка, Луки и Келли имеет огромное значение для решения этой проблемы и для формирования общего видения будущего нашей морской экосистемы.